guys, welcome to Eva Dacia's Loves, where we talk about the things me, Ebony, loves. As you can see from the title, today we're going to be talking about fragrances and we have a haul. Now, I've heard, this is my second time recording this video, but I listened to what you guys say and that video was way too long. And so I'm re-recording it. What's going to mean though is I'm not opening the boxes. I've known smell, I've, I've tested these so none of these are not blind. So you're going to not see that part, but it was just, I couldn't, it was just too long and I kept trying to cut it down and it just was starting to make no sense. So I have to redo it. So forgive me for that, but we're going to go through these fragrances really quick. They're just ones I've been collecting since after the Christmas through the month of January. Two of them I kind of mentioned really quickly in my um, collection video because they were there when I did those. So I'm going to just touch on them really quickly because I didn't really get into them. I got from Walgreens a gift set. Walgreens had perfumes, gift sets from the holidays, half off. So I got two gift sets. I got Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. And I got Ari, finally, by Ariana Grande. Now, I did feel like these are a little bit similar. To me, they do smell a lot alike. They're, but I feel like um, Ari is a little bit more... Has a little bit... Of layers to it where this is more linear but they're both very fun sweet girly perfumes um this i don't this came with a little mini spray and a lip gloss and i got them both for 15 dollars. the lip gloss is really good very like creamy i really like it and for the fact that this don't really last really long. I don't care so much because this is such an easy thing to carry in your purse. So I'm fine with that. So that was Sweet Tooth. I like it. I really like Ari. At first I was kind of like a little disappointed because I don't know. I expected more from the way people talked about it. So I was like once I got over the hype, ex the hype of it, I did start to appreciate it for what it is. And it's just a nice girly scent um it has marsh i think they both have marshmallow i also got from those two were the ones i got from walgreens i picked up from marshall's i got this dylan turquoise edt um it was 40 dollars, which was a good price because i've seen it on i went and checked online at fragrance net and other um discounters and it was down like 38 dollars. so with shipping you pay a little bit more than 40 so i felt like it was a good buy I've, I had a mini of this that I got like an, an influencer, that um, thing where you test stuff and give feedback. And I've been loving it. So I've been wanting it. It's been on my list. So I'm glad to get it off. Now, the one question I have, and maybe some of you will know, is that this has a silver top. But I've seen some with gold, some with silver. I'm not sure that means like there's a difference with one being, I don't know if they have a perf perfume version. This is a EDT. So maybe if they do have a perfume version, when I kept searching, I kept getting the EDT only though. But if they have a perfume version, maybe that's gold or maybe it's a size thing that the letter's gold or it's a formulation. Let me know. But it definitely says Versace and Dylan Blue. So um, I think it's legitimate and it has, you know, batch code. <laughs> so yeah, I really like this. Now there is guava in here, which I don't really distinctly pick that, but for me, this is really similar. If you like your light blues, if you like your Aqua Di Gioia's, your Freshies, this is really good for that. I can't wait to wear this when the weather starts to break. I love these kind of scents. I also got on sale, I um, Flower Bomb. This was actually another gift set. It came in this little set. And it had a lotion and a, it had two lotions actually, which I was strange when I was, I thought one was a shower gel and it was actually two lotions. One was a cream and one was a lotion. Um, <laughs> but I have been wanting this. This is another one where I had a mini, really mini set with a mini of this and two, a lotion and a shower gel. And I just was like, been wanting to get this. And when I found it on sale for a good price, I'm like, I have to get it. And I still like this. I know people, some people don't, you know, like this as much or some people even declutter this, but I love this. I, I, when I sprayed it, I was just like, 
Yes, I remember why I love this so much. And I, I love this scent. And I'm so glad I have this in my collection. I also got from Macy's. Oh, I forgot two things. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> so for Macy's, I got a couple of things. So um, I picked up a gift set for $25 from the Memoir Ar Archives. And this is the Garden Party. And I... um. I really like this. This is a very good scent. Here's a box that came in. This has Alstroemeria, Jasmine, and Blooming Magnolia. And I just think it smells so good. I don't know how it performs. There was only about 11. When I looked at Fragantica, there was about only 11 people who actually said anything about this fragrance. But it had about a 3.89. So it was not bad for 11 people. And it looked like the performance was moderate to good. So I am looking forward to using it. Like I said, I think it smells so good. And then from Macy's backstage, this was, these were the deal. I did so good. I went to Macy's backstage. They had Platinum Rush by Paris Hilton. It was on clearance for $13. Um, because they're getting rid of it. And I remember seeing it before the holidays. And it was like $29. This has like red apple in it. And I get the apple. This smells so good. When I tell you, when it comes to celebrity perfumers, I feel like Paris is like one of the best. Her stuff is good. And I'm so glad to have this in my collection. And the bottle's actually really pretty, so... That's that. I'm so excited to have that. I've been, it's been on my list forever. But one that hasn't been on my list, but I'm so glad that I got was Siren by Paris Hilton. This was the only one of these left. It was also $13. And I never hear no one talk about this. I mean, not that I expected. I mean, it's older, I believe. But this smells so good. I actually might like it more than Gold Rush, you know? It smells so good. I was like pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's juicy. Mm, it's like a juicy, fruity bomb. I can't wait to wear this. Now, I don't know how it performs, but I cannot wait to wear this. I think this smells so good. Whew. Yes, Paris. Congratulations, Paris. You just welcomed a brand new baby. Happy for her. This is so good. Like, if you like Miami Heat, this is better. Mmm. I think this also has apricot. I'm trying to remember. It's juicy, though. Juicy. God, I'm crazy. Mmm. So good. But, uh, comment below if you knew that song. Comment in, make it in, put it a mark in the comments if you knew what I just sang. <laughs> but yeah, that was that. Paris Hilton, um, Platinum Rush, and Siren. And I'm, I said it already. Paris is one of my favorite per celebrity perfume. Okay, so speaking of celebrity scents, a new celebrity, a new celebrity scent on the market, first time for this celebrity, is Loved by Lauren Conrad. I have to admit, I got sucked in by the advertising for this one. It just really got me. I, I picked up mine from HSN. You can get it from her website or you can get it from HSN. What I had, you can get it from her website or you can get it from HSN. Um, I got it from HSN as a gift set. It's $59 if you buy the perfume by itself on her website. This, I believe, I'm pretty sure that my gift set was that much with the lotion in it. Now, I will say to me, the lotion does not have any scent, even though it's supposed to. I I don't get it at all. <laughs> but this scent has sparkling grapefruit, white tea, peony petals, and magnolia. There is that magnolia again. Mid notes of pink rose, tuberose, and gardenia, and base notes of lily, jasmine, sandback, and sheer musk. This one here comes to life so well on my skin and it lasts about four hours. 
And for me, who's not the biggest white floral lover, even though I'm beginning to think maybe I am, but I just, it just depends. It has to be the right white florals, you know. But this is pretty. Now, like I said, it lasts me about four hours, but I kept on smelling it on my skin. I was like, oh, this smells so pretty. Like it was like way better on my skin than it was on paper. So that's Lauren Conrad Love. This is what it looks like. The one thing that was annoying was that this came in a box and they stickered the, um, it had that gummy stuff to hold the thing in. And then I couldn't get the gummy stuff off. So look at the back of my bottle. It's ruined. Like totally ruined. Cause I was trying to get the glue off and then I scratched it up and jacked it up. I don't know why they did that, but that's how. So maybe hopefully when you get it from her website, it's just in a box and it's not glued together. Cause this doesn't, the glue doesn't come off <laughs> of this. But yeah, and it's this cute little, it's the top. That's cute. So also, I've got two more here and then we are going to be done. So I also got at Burlington. So Shauna J has talked about this scent a lot and I tend to like the things that she likes. So I thought, you know, I saw this and it was only $13. So I said, I'm gonna buy it. And that was Delicious by Gail Hyman. Delicious Cotton Candy by Gail Hyman. Now, I knew people had talked about these caps. And I heard a lot about the caps. And I'm just going to say, they ain't never lie. This cap is really bad. In fact, I soaked it overnight in bleach. Thinking maybe that will help the cap. But it... it, it it really didn't. It came back. No, it came back. And the thing about it is whatever the stinkiness is in here, it comes on here. <sighs> I mean, it's like plastic. You know, like, I don't know, back in the day, I used to play with them plastic dinosaurs. It's like them plastic toy dinosaurs. But it's also like, like they was in somebody's house who's a heavy smoker. <laughs> That's what it smells like. Now, when I looked this up, I did notice the pictures had changed. And when I was looking at the notes on this, and it looked like the picture changed and they had a metal cap on it. So I don't know if they switched this out. And if you buy it from Gail Hyman somewhere, you get this metal cap with this little, a much smaller Puma. Or, or is this a Puma or a Panther? I have no idea. Why does the Why do these have a Panther on them? Like, what is delicious about that? You know, she got delicious vanilla, delicious cotton candy, delicious hot pink, and they all have this panther. Mm. Now, it's unfortunate that that happens because I like to smell my bottles and I smell this and I get plastic cap. But what I will say, the juice on the inside, guys, the juice on the inside is good. Now, it is basically pink sugar, but... I feel like it's pink sugar, but not as caramely as pink sugar can smell. Like this really does smell like cotton candy, but it's the same. But it just some some about it feels a little bit not as harsh to me. I don't know, but I have to try it on my skin. It smells really good. Like, I like how it smells. I really do. But it's just so unfortunate about the cat. And then last in my scent bird, I got Memo Paris Maffa. Okay, y'all, let me just say, this is good. I really, really, really like Maffa. So Marfa has orange, now according to this little part, Marfa has orange blossom absolute, um, tuberose absolute, and white musk. Now on Fragantica, they kind of say the same, but then they add mandarin orange, they say ylang ylang, agave, and they add fan vanilla, sandalwood, and cedar. So when I smelled Marfa, I was like, this is good. And what I learned, I like 
I do like green scents. I like scents that have green. So Morpha is like a white floral, but it has green in it. But when I smelt it, I said, I have something that smells like this. So I pulled out three different perfumes in my collection I thought smelled like this. I pulled out Elizabeth Arden NYC, and I was totally wrong. They smell nothing alike. Then I pulled out Live Colorfully by Kate Spade. And there was some little bit similarity, but it really wasn't. It really wasn't the same at all. It was sweet. But then, yes. But then I pulled out Love Ann by Ann Klein. And they are really close. The only difference is there's really no, it's not as green. Like Marfa, Marfa, I prefer. I'm going to say that. I prefer Marfa. Because I like the green is stronger. Where in Love Anne, you, it's very faint. And I was like, how could these smell that like? But then there are some notes that are the same. They both have mandarin orange. Um, they both have musk. And then according to the others, they have both have vanilla. And where Love Anne has cashmere wood, this has cedar and sandalwood. Now, where this has tuberose, Love Anne has tiara flower. This says Love Anne also has bergamot and passion fruit, but I just think they're very close. So I know Moffa is a little bit on a pricier side. So if you're looking for a less ex a less expensive alternative, you can get Love Anne for about $15 to $20. And it's very close. It's very close. I gained a whole level of respect for Love Anne after that. Because as soon as I smelled this, I was like, this smells... Well, you guys knew I liked Love Anne. Because I kept saying I won't get rid of this. And I think I would buy this again even. But I was on the fence about buy this again. Because I like this. I just haven't had the occasion that I felt like I needed for it. Yeah, Moffa's more green. And that's what I like about it for sure. So I'm not saying they're exact. But I'm just saying they're close. They're cousins. Might, she might even be like her younger sister, you know, a little bit lighter, a little more to grow, a little more life to explore. But yeah, and they're both mature though. I mean, that mature, they're both, I think they're mature, both of them. I don't think no teenagers just smell like Moffa. Moffa. <laughs> so guys, that, oh, oh, one more. One more thing, just really quickly. I also picked up a new body mist from Gabriel's. I got the white Elizabeth Taylor white diamonds, sparkling white diamonds, because I have been interested in trying this scent, and I really, really like this. Like, I actually think I might get the, um, I'm on the fence. Like, I kind of think I might get the perfume because I have the body mist and thinking, like, you know, it'll give it some, but this is kind of like a lot of stuff I have, really. But it's good. I mean, Mm, it's pretty though. It's really pretty. Like, it's a soapy white floral. Kind of reminds me of J Lo Glow, but better. It's better than J Lo Glow. But if you like that soapy white floral from J Lo Glow, if you like Gardenia and Cardamom, I think you'll like Sparkling White Diamonds. I like it. And it's be nice kind of, it's very fragrant for a body mask. I'm like, this would be good when it's hot and if I want this scent, but I don't want to be, you know, I could wear this. But this is pretty and I definitely want to, I think I'm going to get the perfume of it. Okay, guys, so that was my haul. I um, hope everything is going, I'm still going to I'm going to have to cut this video some more. But I think it's going to be a little bit more streamlined. It should feel better for you guys. So I hope you like it. If you're a returning subscriber, I meant to tell you at the beginning, thank you so much for being here. And if you came to the end, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And if you're new here, just hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell, okay? It doesn't cost anything. And then you'll get to know when I upload because you will not find me in these YouTube streets. It's hella congested. All right, so I hope everybody's doing well. And if you're not, just know things will get better. Okay, guys, bye.